On a lot of newer cars, they use gasoline direct injection. It's a lot more efficient way of injecting fuel into the engine. Now, they've been using it on diesel vehicles for quite some time, but it's kind of new on the gas side of things. So if you've never worked on a diesel, you might not know it's a little bit different. So I'm going to walk you through on this tool right here. We got a lot of information on how those injectors work, and it's actually hooked up to this Ford behind me. And we can see how it looks on a lab scope and how the pattern is actually different than a standard fuel injector. Okay, so inside all the lab scope tools is the guided component test, and that can give us a lot of information on how things work and where to hook up on these vehicles. So we have the vehicle ID here. So we're gonna go into the fuel injection system, and then we're gonna go into the fuel system, and then the fuel injector. Now it's gonna give us some information, so we'll go into component information. And it says, here's how the system operates. The gasoline direct fuel injector delivers fuel directly into the cylinder under high pressure. Each injector is controlled by two circuits from the PCM. A boosted voltage supply up to 65 volts is generated in the PCM and used to initially open the injector. The injector driver controls three transistor switches that apply the boost voltage to open the injector and then modulates the current to hold the injector open. If boost voltage is unavailable, the correct injector opening current might not be generated in the time required. So it contains a smart driver, that actually monitors each side to see whether there's a problem. It'll throw a code for whatever the problem happens to be. And it says the best place to test it is either at the injector itself. On these, they're sometimes hard to get to, or there's a 16-pin connector on the left rear side of the engine above the engine oil filter housing. That's where we've hooked this up. So now that I've got all this information here, we don't actually have a test where we can test all three things. So we're going to go into the lab scope, which I already have set up running on this vehicle. And you can see here we have two different types of patterns displayed. So let me stop it on this second pattern here. There we go. So this would be powering up the fuel injector. You can see how we have a little voltage spike right there. And at the same time the spike goes up, we also have the amperage going up. Then the amperage drops off slightly and then it comes down. And then as it says, it modulates the amperage up and down to keep the injector open. As the amperage goes up and down, the voltage has to follow that as well. So that goes around. And then when it's released, we're still going to get another spike into, that, into the injector back into the line uh, when it closes, right? So you can see a little bit different, but as long as you know the theory, it'll help you diagnose it.